Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on Python tools for data science and machine learning. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about Panda series. But before we go ahead and talk about Panda series, just a small recommendation. I will recommend you to go ahead and look into my video series on Pandas data frame first before looking into Pandas series. This is a bit different than what most of the internet tutorial will look like. Initially, whenever someone you know teaches Pandas or talk about Pandas, they will talk about Pandas series first, then they are going to talk about Pandas data frame. I will recommend you to look into data frame first, then look into series. So welcome to this video where we are going to talk about Panda series and I do believe that by the time you are looking into this video, you are already comfortable with Panda's data frame. Now irrespective of whatever technical definition of Panda series looks like, in normal terms, Panda series can be considered as the column of a Pandas data frame. So if a Pandas data frame is row and columns, Pandas series is just one column. Okay. So a series represent a column in memory. So if you have worked with Apache Cassandra, you know, that's a column store. This is not column store. I do not want to confuse you, but just for the understanding purpose, you can consider series as a column. Okay. Now, to properly understand the Panda series, we need to generate data frame first, then we will take a series out of it. So I'm importing Pandas and NumPy and in here, I am having a Python dictionary. So this is a Python dictionary with name, age, gender and designation. Okay. And if we want to see the Python dictionary, here is how Python dictionary will look like. Okay. It's a name, age, gender designation and different set of values. Now Pandas data frame can be created from Python dictionaries. You know why? Because dictionaries loosely translate to columns. Each of the name, age, gender and designation can be considered as column and each of the values can be considered as rows. So I can create data frame from dictionary and here is how my data frame will look like okay now let's check a particular column in this data frame data frame has four columns right name age gender and designation let's check a particular column name column okay name data type of object now let's go ahead and see the type of data frame name it's a panda series so whatever I told you in the beginning that a Panda series is a column of a data frame, this is the proof, okay? We can see the type of any other column like age. This is also a Panda series. Now you understood what is a Panda series. Each column in data frame is a Panda series. And if you want to further understand the functionality of Panda series, you need to understand that it is very similar to NumPy arrays. So if you know NumPy arrays, you are at home with Panda series. Just a reminder, I have my own videos on NumPy arrays. Please go ahead and look at them. Okay. So let's use some of the series members, which are very similar to the NumPy arrays like shape. Okay. Dimension, data type, float 64 for age. Okay. Now one very important thing about Panda series, Panda series can exist without data frame. It's an individual entity. Okay. It can be created just like NumPy arrays and it can exist on its own. Okay. So let's talk about how to create Pandas series without using Pandas data frame. And in here, I am showing two ways of creating Pandas series, one from Python list, one from NumPy arrays. So the Pandas series will look same. Okay. The data type will be different in 64 for list type, in 32 for NumPy type, right? Now, as with Pandas data frame, like, you know, when I created Pandas data frame in the beginning, you could see that it has generated the row index number automatically. Same thing also happens with Pandas series. But the row index number, whatever is being created, we can actually say what should be the row index number. In here, 
we can create a series pandas series by giving index number as a numpy array okay and here is how it will look like we can make it 12 with the step of 2 okay and here is how it will look like you can choose what is the index number of a panda series similarly we can even have you know alphabetic characters as the index number these things are sometimes useful sometimes not but it is good to know about these things we can even print the index separately okay now we have seen in this particular video how to create pandas data frame from pandas dictionary we can also create series from dictionary so how the series and dictionary will look like remember i talked about row indexes this is where the key is so if i create a dictionary with you know a b c with value 1 2 3 and if i create a panda series with that dictionary your dictionary will have row index number taken out of dictionary so here a b c the name will be your row index value will be value if you contain a list of value the list of value will remain the same the keys will become your row index this functionality is also helpful now you know i talked about that we can create series out of data frames but can we create data frames out of series looks like we can so this is our data frame okay let's say i get a series called name and here is how my series name looks like a to g okay series age looks like you know 22 35 okay we can create a data frame out of these two series by you know data frame from series is the variable name i am passing series in the form of array inside the data frame function and here is how my series will look like but you know what is the difference in the beginning we have created you know data frame from dictionary where name was what keys age was key and there were different values the same thing is reflected when you combine these two series to form a data frame okay here your row index become name and age and 0 1 2 6 becomes your column name this is something you have to remember you can change it but you know you should know this is the way it behaves but incidentally it doesn't happen when you create data frame from a single series and here is how it looks like name will be your column okay this is the difference in behavior you have to be aware of now i am not talking about much of the functions of the series because that intention of this video is to explain you the concept of series we can also create panda series from a scalar we can create a scalar value and we can create a series from that scalar value that is also possible just like pandas data frame as well as numpy arrays there are various accessory mathematical functions which you can use some of them are mean age size unique designations and we can even get a python list out of a series and if we want to iterate over panda series just like a simple iteration using for loop of python or we can also iterate through keys the similar way we iterate through keys of a dictionary so this is all about panda series i hope and believe that i was able to explain the concept of panda series in the best possible way thank you all thanks for watching we will definitely meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care